when I was in Wellington, COVID hit and my parents wanted to move up to Auckland. So as soon as lockdown ended, I moved up to Auckland and that wasn't really working out to me. It didn't really fit me too well. So we were going to move to Albany Senior, but we couldn't move houses. So the next best thing was for me to go to Kura online. Our Te Ara Paunamu approach at Te Kura, or Big Picture Learning, is a student-centred approach to learning. And there's a real emphasis on the student having the agency over their learning and having a learning platform that's relevant for them, having a learning program that's relevant and maybe built upon their existing passions or enabling them to discover what some of their passions are. I did feel very overwhelmed. I was going as fast as I could, like a normal school, because I thought it would just have to be work constantly, but now I can actually pace myself at my own pace, go slowly, pick what I want to learn instead of what they choose me to learn. For students that uh, find school a bit tricky, I've seen that the system has actually really worked. It can really help engagement, um, this approach of basing it on the students at the centre. I started it because of like ballet and more time to dance during the day. But then I um, just kept going with Takura because it's been really amazing for me and I've really enjoyed like the personal teaching and learning because I didn't learn very well in a big group or if there was like other distractions. So I find it really easy to concentrate if there's a smaller group of us. I think it helps me because with normal school I found a lot of stress with deadlines and stuff. Whereas with Takura you can kind of take things in your own time and you can, if you're not really working well on something, you can take some time off and work on something else and then come back to the other thing. And so I could do schoolwork at like 11 o'clock at night if I wanted, if that was when I felt more focused, or I could do it at like 5 o'clock in the morning, or I could do it like mid day, it was just any time was free. People often have a different perspective or will look at the same student and maybe uh, add something different or um, about a suggestion or an approach, but by working together we're, um, we're able to bounce off each other and um, share ideas, share observations, share things we've noticed. So I think, um, yeah, a team, a team approach is really important in this type of work. Our kai Afina and our kai Manaki, I, I see it as a partnership, and I encourage our our staff to work as a partnership. So a kai ako is a teacher, is kai person ako learning. Kai manaki, manaki is to manaaki, to lift that person's mana up. They're kind of seen as like, you know, tutor teacher. And the kai afina, afina is to support. So we kind of support not only the students, but the kai manaki, sometimes the kai ako, because we might be saying, hey, so and so, have you emailed, you know, your subject teacher? No, okay, well, let's do this. Or, oh, my sub te subject teacher hasn't, you know, got back to me, miss. Okay, let's do that. Hey teach me a lot more than I need to know. They're very helpful, they're always open to questions, they're always helpful. We have their numbers so we can ask them. They've come back very quickly that I know from experience. I've texted them at like five o'clock and they've come back with the information that I've needed, which was very helpful when I do stuff last minute. Everyone working together really for the, the best interests of the students. Um, we have meetings where we discuss um, if students are not engaging much in their takura work, we all put our heads together and <laughs> share what we've observed or noticed and what we can all do as a team to support that student and what the next steps might be. We also have liaison teachers, visiting teachers, who can go to the home and, and speak with, with Fano at home. When I started takura I was like 12 years old and I found it very hard to motivate myself to do schoolwork so I had to get a lot of like help from my mum and my siblings to help me make sure I actually did work <laughs> but as I got older I started like finding my own way of doing things and like making sure that I had it open and ready before I was set to do it so that I couldn't distract myself or like making sure I was doing it not in my bedroom or like downstairs somewhere that wasn't hadn't got like a lot of distractions for me and so I found it really useful having like a idea of what I was going to do before I started doing it too. So once the relationship is there, you're in a better position to get to know the student, you're going to be able to read them and um, 
see where they're coming from and then use that as a springboard to design the learning plan or co-design co the learning plan with them. I've been given a lot of support through Takura with heading towards the career path that I want to do. I really want to do um, mechanics. I've had a lot of support with, I've done a nine week workforce where I'm going off to a mechanic shop one day a week for the whole day and helping out mechanics and you know it's good it's good things that can help me get a job in the future you know for references and just getting me into the industry that I'm looking for. So when you're talking about student voice to me to ask us how we are successful in, in a sense or how do we achieve what we're doing at the end of the day it's really really down to the students how are they feeling in the classroom um, and I advocate for that student voice. I think a lot of the motivation is you have to take it from yourself because you don't have a teacher hounding after you saying, oh, do all this. So I think it builds a lot of self-management and self-motivation, which I didn't really have before. I definitely miss the, the interaction like day to day with my friends, but I think in the long run, like moving your own pace, doing your work, choosing what you get to do instead of following the curriculum is way better than having to follow the curriculum and learn stuff you don't want to know.